Hello and welcome to vlog number 72. Today, at the request of Frank Mundo, I'm going to talk about cognitive impairment in Parkinson's disease. Cognitive impairment is one of the common non-motor symptoms of PD. It can occur at any stage of the condition and varies in severity from mild cognitive impairment, which normally doesn't affect daily functioning, through to Parkinson's disease dementia, which affects more than one area of cognition and is severe enough to affect social or working functions. Some people with Parkinson's may have no cognitive problems. Others may only experience very subtle changes, detectable only by formal testing. Some have problems that they would describe as mild or irritating, whilst others will experience significant problems that affect their ability to perform everyday activities. Cognitive impairment in PD predominantly affects executive function, causing problems with speed of thought, the ability to multitask, planning and organising, problem solving, word loss, attention, learning and memory difficulties and visuospatial dysfunction. Approximately 50% of PD patients will suffer some kind of cognitive impairment, but it does not progress to Parkinson's dementia in all cases and that's the straw that I'm clutching hold of. I know that mild cognitive impairment was an early symptom for me that I became aware of, but which none of our medical professionals picked up on. I clearly recall experiencing word loss whilst talking to a group of colleagues at work, and it was most embarrassing. I was saying something along the lines of, a bird in the hand is worth two in the... and then I couldn't find the last word, and stood there like some sort of idiot whilst everyone sat waiting expectantly for me to finish my sentence. Since my deep brain stimulation operation, I have noticed that my flow of speech has been adversely affected, and this has a significant impact on my ability to join in with conversation, and even in my ability to produce these vlogs. If I didn't write a script, then I seriously doubt that I would be able to talk confidently about the subjects that I've researched. So what causes cognitive changes in Parkinson's? The precise causes of cognitive impairment and dementia in PD are not known, but are more than likely due to a number of chemical and physical changes in the brain. In addition to a reduction in dopamine levels, Parkinson's affects other brain chemicals such as norepinephrine, acetylcholine and serotonin which support cognition, mood and attention. PD also causes changes to and loss of cells in areas of the brain that are responsible for these functions. Prescription medications and some over-the-counter medications can also contribute to problems with cognition, as can thyroid problems or vitamin B12 deficiency, so it's important to consult your doctor if you're at all concerned. Is there anything that you can do to ward off or prevent cognitive decline? There isn't a definitive answer to this question, but you can take actions to promote brain health, including a healthy diet and regular exercise. Some studies have concluded that being cognitively active can help to fight cognitive decline, so mentally challenging tasks such as puzzle solving, learning a language or learning to play a musical instrument could be beneficial. Personally, I play a lot of Scrabble online, and I keep promising myself that I will pick up the guitar and attempt to resume where I left off when Tremor forced me to abandon it. Researchers are studying a number of different therapies, including aerobic exercise, medications and physical therapy to see if they can treat cognitive issues in people with Parkinson. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.